you guys want to learn how to make this delicious um, dirty rice, Cajun dirty rice, well, watch this recipe and you will soon learn how to make it yourself. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today I'm going to be cooking some delicious um, dirty rice, Cajun dirty rice. So what I'm going to be adding to my dirty rice is going to be some um, fresh uh, onions, green onions uh, that I took out of the freezer. I chopped them up ahead of time and froze, froze them. And then also I'm going to be adding some beef flavored um, uh, beef broth to the um, to the Cajun rice, Cajun dirty rice. I'm also going to be adding in some ground beef. So um, this uh, ground beef, 100% pure ground beef, no additives. So that's what I'm going to be using today to make my dirty rice. So let's get started. First off, the ground, ground the ground beef. So we're going to start out by browning this ground beef. Slips out of my hand. Okay, so we're going to start out by browning our ground beef. Let me just grab a fork, turn the stove on. I'm going to grab, well, I don't have to grab a fork. I'll just use a spatula handy right here. So we're going to start with grounding off the grounding, browning, I can't speak today, browning the ground beef. And all tongue tied. Okay. Ground this ground beef. Okay, the ground beef has been browned. However, I'm not going to use all of this ground beef for my recipe. So I'm going to take about a third of it out and use this for another recipe, maybe some tacos or something. So that's about almost half. Okay, so I'll put this to the side and we'll be right later. So next we're gonna add in our green onions. Green onions. Let that saute a little bit with the ground beef. The next thing we'll add will be the rice mixture. Now, some people make their dirty rice from scratch, but I don't. I like the flavors of the Cajun dirty rice. So, like I, I like I tell you guys, I don't believe in reinventing the wheel if you don't have to. All right. So next, we're going to add in these green onions. Are going to give it a lot of flavor. Okay, so next we're going to add in, I mean, it's really good the next day. You wait till the next day to eat it after all the flavors are soaked in. It's really delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna add my rice mixture next. Okay, and then I'm going to add my beef broth. And I'm gonna put it on low and put cover it and let it cook the rest of the way. I'm gonna add some more beef broth because I don't think this is gonna be enough. Yeah, I can tell it's not gonna be enough. So let me just grab some more out of the refrigerator and add more beef broth. Free frost smell funny, so I'm not gonna use this one. I'm just gonna use it. I'll grab a fresh one. Out of the pantry. Okay. This one should be good as fresh. Yeah, that one's good. Let me just shake it up a little. You know what, I actually grab chicken broth by mistake, but that's okay. It'll taste just as good as the beef broth. It'll be a mixture of both in there. Okay. So 
just stir that up really well. And like I said, we're gonna let this cook on low for about 20 or 30 minutes. We'll come back and check the progress. Okay, and we're back and I'm gonna check on the rice. Oh, that looks so great. Looks so delicious. So just stir it up a little bit. It's sticking to the pan, so I believe it's ready. I'm just gonna turn it off and do a taste test. Let's stick it to my skillet, so I do believe it's ready now. Let me just grab the spoon so I can taste it. Okay, I've got this big spoon here. It's hot. So hot. Hmm. That tastes so good. I think I'm gonna put the top on it and just let it sit for a few minutes. So the rice can get a little bit softer. Mmm. But it's full of flavor. Full, full, full of flavor. So that's our dirty rice recipe. For this recipe and more recipes, please be sure to visit my channel. Ella dishes it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. And look for more and other recipes on my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. And as always, bon appetit. <laughs>